Yo, I'm DJP coaching and I am ill right now, so um, <coughs> apologies for the delayed videos. Um, this is something I'm trying to improve on, um, but at the moment I'm just I'm just not feeling 100%. Um, but I've managed to get myself in the mood and I've made the basis and I want to thank Jetfool for uh, suggesting this video. Um, so let's just jump straight into it. Um, so basically it was a bass house sort of uh bass sound that you wanted me to make and um obviously my background being mostly drum and bass i have done some house in the past before um but it's not really my forte so this is something new to me as well so i've had to go out and learn it and uh, watched a few tutorials tried to sort of gather up um what people have done and how it's actually made and and the way that the the concept of how to make the basses so that you can do it yourself and adjust it and make your own sort of sound. Um, but I basically got a, a, a very basic outline of what what I'm looking for here. So let me just uh, let me just play this for you real quick. You can tell what I mean when I say it's very basic like i don't i don't do house music much at all however this is something that it's a good starting point like if i was to make a tune i would probably use especially this one i definitely use this one i, I like just like, like that sound um and actually what i want to tell you as well is something that's the same between both of them um it's the same it's a similar technique that you use to uh, achieve the bass sounds so um i'm going to put these in the description below as well so you can download them for yourself um but i want to show you how i've made them so let's get to that so this first one here which is this sound proper simple really really simple um it's two oscillators two signs um one's an octave higher I've put some unison on there with a bit of detune, but just enough to keep it tasteful, you know, spread the width of it a little bit. Um, I've got an FM from B, um, and then what I've done is, usually I wouldn't do this, usually I'd have this all the way down, so you wouldn't even be hearing that, it'd just be running through the first one. But, um, I can't do that. Well, yeah, so what I'm trying to explain is, um, I wouldn't usually have that up, uh, but I'm actually using it in this case as more of like a an attacky sort of clicky sound. Um, and then it's still running through this, um, but this LFO is basically connected to this volume. So it will still be running through, but every now and again, you know, when the notes hit, it's, uh, it's going to jump out to you a little bit more than it would do if it wasn't, you know, using that little bit of attack. I'll show you what I mean. hear it and it only adds a tiny little subtle sort of subby sort of pop I guess is what you're trying to uh, look for here let's take off these randoms as well because kind of want them to be the same every time yep and then uh, following on from that I think uh, just this first envelope uh, about 531 decay um and about 250 release millisecond release um and that will literally just create the 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 adsr basically um the feeling of the note um let me uh i mean you already you you, you pretty much know what i'm uh what i'm alluding at and if uh if you don't then i can cover it in a future video but for the meantime I don't think we need to delve too far into that. Um, yeah, and then after that, uh, yeah, that's it. That's literally it for that one. Um, I've pretty much made it sort of like a like a starting point, a good starting point that you can use to, uh, you know, to bring yourself into that into that world. Um, let me just overwrite that one. 
right to you and then in this one this is the second one so the fm synthesis uh, aspect of it carries on uh, from the last one to this one i struggled to try and get the correct tonality of the sound uh so to speak but um the the purpose it serves is still is still evident so again a good starting point to work from uh, and build from in this so this one let me just go for the oscillator so oscillator a literally a, a, a triangle uh with four in unison um and it's fm from b about 57 percent that sounds like that. And then um, you add oscillator B, which is uh, another triangle wave, but it's an octave up. Um, same with the unison and the volumes all the way down. And then once that's on, it's rooting through oscillator A. And you can attenuate that. And then um, following on from that, I added a sub in there, just a little square, uh, just to layer over the top. And then I have this LFO that's connected to the sub um, and the distortion. And then when it sort of gets up there, so it's a little bit after, there's a little bit of attack. But you hear it clicks through a little bit more uh, and it sounds a little bit nicer. So probably mess about with this uh, distortion as well. I've not got too much on, but I've sort of got a little bit of tonality added in there. I like these asymmetrical ones, to be fair, the specific things. Yeah, I think that sounds quite nice, actually. Put a bit of chorus on there, maybe. Yeah, um, just added a chorus for a little bit of depth. Um, yeah, and I, honestly, that is it. That is literally it. Um, proper short tutorial. I'll put the I'll put the presets in the description. Um, I would do a longer one, but I don't really know. I know about house, but I don't know enough about house to really say, "Hey, this is what you should be doing based on these artists and stuff like that." Like, I've, I, I don't really, I don't really delve into that stuff. So I'm basically just judging it off of a, a sound design standpoint, and maybe, um, trying to sort of apply things that would cross, uh, things that I can cross apply between drum and bass, jungle stuff like that, and then this, um, which is you know mixing techniques and just knowing um. A lot of it is transferable actually there's quite a lot that you can do that um transfers really well into other genres uh it's just a case of knowing what transfers well you know like knowing um for example like keys and things like that um in drum and bass like my main key that i use is f or f minor or anywhere in that sort of region within like maybe five or six notes uh, or two or three notes on each side i'd say um that's only because the root note um, at that sort of tempo, drum and bass tempo, the root note will sit perfectly around, you know, like uh, 60, 50 sort of hertz, you know, where you want the bass, you want it to build up to the point where when the bass does come in, the, the, the root note or the first note of the drop or whatever it is, you want that impact to be there, you want it to feel right and with um, specific tempos um, or even just, I think, just in keys in general. Um, if you if you're using a, a scale that's too high or something that's a little bit out of not in the right frequency range, let's say, then then you're going to struggle to fit things around it because it's not serving the correct purpose that you're looking for. Um, I find myself honestly transposing things up and down in octaves, up and down in notes until I get the right feel, um, and the feel's more important than. Uh, what you're actually looking at because at the end of the day when you're listening to the music you feel the music it's all the, it's the emotion it's the I'll, I'll touch on this as, uh, specifically in a future video but two things to to definitely think about is one vibe 
is one of the most important things in music if the vibe isn't there it's lost it's just it's just a, a soulless piece of music you know like the, the vibe is the soul the uh what 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 you started the track with the idea the original idea is the vibe um and then the energy is like the drums the the layers everything everything around that to sort of emphasize it and make it sound better that's the energy um so you got the vibe and the energy so you got the soul and the the body i guess um and yeah i think i'll try and uh, keep this short because i'm just ranting on at this point because i am quite ill uh, <laughs> <coughs> So apologies for all the sounds and weird stuff you've heard in this episode. Honestly, I promise uh, future episodes will be better. Um, I have just been, you know, lacking a little bit of motivation recently in regards to making videos. I've also not been very well. And um, a lot of stuff's been going on, you know, with family, sort of stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I think... That's the end of the video. Uh, the presets will be in the description below, so you can go download them. Um, I hope the concepts I described helped. Um, both of these are FM synthesis, is the the ending point I was trying to come towards. Um, yeah, literally FM synthesis. Have a play around with it. Make sure you mute it um, so that it's just running through the first one. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Have fun and make some wicked sounds. And I'll hope to see you soon or i will see you soon actually <laughs> um much love again i'm still teaching one-to-ones uh music production and djing if you want to come and uh speak to me about it uh we can uh lovely i'll see you next time adios <laughs>